Hey, and welcome back to another twin motion video. In this video, we're going to look at creating a panorama. It's very similar to a basic rendering you're familiar with, but it's going to be a panorama. Cool. If at any point in this video you happen to learn something, maybe go ahead and demolish that like button. It really helps me out a lot. Also, comment below any questions. I'll answer those. No problem. Okay, getting into it now. We're going to make a panorama. Like, really, it's cool. It's going to be easy. You're going to find that in the media and then panorama, not image, but panorama, because we want something specific. So I click on panorama, and I've already got one made, but literally you just hit create pano, and the idea is that wherever I am, it's going to end up taking this shot that's literally like 180 degrees around, and so it just so happens that this building is, you know, kind of 180 degrees it's a circle and so I'm kind of in the center of it and so it it seems like a good place to where I'd probably want to get some kind of panorama of this you know looks pretty good that's kind of what I would like to see you know this continuous pattern cool stuff the structure nice so really it's it's all about setting up the panorama and it is very similar to an image in that it has the same properties things we're working with for this I want to be on the ground so I'll just click the human on the ground there and make sure I'm on the ground. I want to end up looking, you know, basically straight on to this center point. And with that there, I want to make sure that I have recaptured this. And you notice like the whole, the image itself is already showing the panorama. It's really hard to see because it's so small. But really at this point, all I want to do is come in here and make sure I have all the settings that I want as far as the weather, the lighting, the camera, like everything like that. And this at this point, it's the exact same as an image. So you might say, well, the, you know, really this is the same as an image and in fact it is except we get a different result which is really nice because we might want to see a different result in a panorama rather than an image really good stuff so lighting what i like to do you know i have for a long time now is make sure my auto exposure is off and then i can go further adjust my lighting and my exposure if i need to but i personally like to adjust the actual sun and you can find that within lighting settings and then sun intensity which i have pretty low considering what's going on here um there's a lot of bouncing around a lot of light materials so i want to make sure that that's the case but you know maybe i want to see a different time of day of course i can change that very simply here and i can get a different time of day that might fit more of what i'm after anyways you know it is pretty simple so once you're good once you're set and really i am because this is quite simple i'm going to come to panorama Make sure again I'm updated. I'm happy with that. I think I'm think I've got everything I need. One thing I want to do is make sure my camera is uh, set to depth of field. I do like that. And depending on the settings, I probably want to make this a little bit longer so I can see uh, a little more clearly. You know, we want to get somewhere kind of in the middle of this, which ends up which ends up being you know three point seven five something like that, three point nine. This is fine. And so now. All I need to do is, again, I'm just going to recapture this so this saves, but I'm going to go to export and make sure that I only end up exporting what I want, which in this case is my panorama. And there it is. I'll click that, deselect the rest of my exports, and I'll start the export. And I will see you on the other side whenever the export is complete. So here we have it, you know, <laughs> it it looks cool. Uh, it, the angles are a bit weird, like it's kind of distorted, this or that. So I'm going to export this one more time, and I'm actually going to not be on the ground. So you can see it does, look, it does look cool that I'm on the ground, but I'm going to actually raise myself up like mid-level to where I'm like mid-level of the, the structure and try and <laughs> align myself more towards the center of the image. But something that we could do is honestly just we could crop the image down to what we want to see, of course, but I want to adjust the angle just so slightly that it doesn't look so distorted one side to the other. So let's see what we can do when we export this again. So I've got it set up. I'm in the air a little bit more. And I want to see now that I'm hopefully a little more centered that we can just export this, be on our way, and it'll look a little better. Let's go ahead and do that. And here we go. Round two. You know, not too bad, not too good. Um, the one thing I do want to point out is it's a little more square and it, it does look pretty even. Um, one thing I would point out, and this is probably the most powerful thing you could probably learn from this video, is 
is the power of the camera aligned. So if I'm in my paran panorama here and I go to more and camera specifically, you can see as soon as I click camera, I can see my camera align here. And so when I click this, it's basically prompting me now to then click on basically a face. And I know it's not really giving me much indication as to what it's looking for, but it's, it is looking for me to click on a face. And the idea is that my camera will then be perpendicular to that face. And that's great for framing a shot, getting basically a panorama set up how you might want. So whenever I click, you know, this flat wall that I actually want to align to, it puts me perfectly perpendicular to it, which is great. And if I were to click over here, because this wall is in a different plane, my camera would move around slightly to it. And again, I think this is probably the most powerful tool when it comes to making a panorama look a bit more accurate and not so skewed to one side or the other, is you get more towards a centralized point that you're trying to focus on and you camera align to it. And whenever you get that, of course, I'm in some sort of terrain, but when you get that, the idea is that you are aligned to this point and everything beyond that is at least aligned with that. And so your camera is at least starting in a good place. So really that will do it for this video. From here, I'd probably make this look a bit better. You know, I could, I, I might change the lighting, update this or that. I do get some skewed views here at the edges, but I might just crop that in a bit and be okay with that and get this nice panorama view of this curved facade. So. Yeah, that will do it. If you did happen to learn something, please demolish that like button. Really helps. Also tells me that you might have learned something. Uh, definitely stick around. There's going to be a lot more videos coming out in the near future. So I hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.